Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of May, May 15th through the 31st uh, reading. Generally my readings are love readings, so we'll see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Gemini. I use whatever deck I am called to use and this is it for you. Ooh, the Queen. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with this woman who is very stubborn, hard-headed, work-oriented. Um, the tower in reverse is sacrificing. Very sacrificing. So... You know, somebody has fear of sacrifice. Are you fearful that you might have to sacrifice to this person? Now, this is a man or a woman. This is fear of sacrifice. Fear of suffering. Hmm. Maybe she is afraid of suffering. Because it is next to her. Oh, interesting. Interesting. This is a suitor that is very well suited for you. So this is somebody that um, suits you very well. All right. But there is an element of instability here. Insecurity. Insecurities. Somebody's insecure. Interesting. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe it's you. Somebody is very insecure about starting or building a new foundation with somebody even though they're suited very well for each other and it's pretty exciting right it's very exciting um and you know this is saying that you need to stay focused during this time whatever's happening there's an exciting new opportunity that you're probably eager about but you could be dealing with another person whether it's you or this other person that is insecure You've got somebody that's insecure, and they may be a little obsessive. Whoever you're dealing with may be a little obsessive. They're coming out of some period of darkness, whether it's you or them. There's somebody that is seeing the light. They're starting to see the light. They, they want to feel secure. They're starting to feel more secure. But they're still not there. There's, there's a lot of insecurities here. They're afraid of being tricked. Whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody is really afraid of being tricked. Oh, my goodness. You know, they're, they're trying to figure out, you know, who's tricking who? Is it, who's, who's the trickster here? Hmm. Interesting. So for many of you, you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? And it could be a soulmate connection because when we have the king and queen of the same suit in a reading, there's a so usually a soulmate connection here, okay? So this is, you're probably dealing with a soulmate connection and somebody needs, somebody is starting to see the reality of a situation. The confusion is starting to dissipate, but it's still there. It's like the truth is being revealed or the secret is out, but somebody is still feeling like they could be manipulated in some way. So I feel if somebody is, is, is fearing um, suffering here, they're afraid that they're going to suffer. They're afraid that somebody is, is being a trickster because this is, this is fear of suffering. This is a trickster. So somebody is afraid that somebody has something up their sleeve <laughs> and we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here twice okay and it's a soulmate kind of thing so whoever you're dealing with it doesn't have to be an earth sign but it's pretty prominent whoever you're dealing with there is a you know a deep 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 and I, I say soulmate connection okay it feels as though there is some sort of revelation, though, with the moon card. There's a revelation about the insecurities. So maybe you or the other person comes to, this, to the realization that this is just an insecurity. You know, it's just an insecurity. 
Um, I feel like there's a, there's a, somebody wants to start a relationship with another person, but there's there's just um, sorry I lost my, my thing. They'd like to start a, a a relationship with you, but they may feel like it's just a rebound relationship. They may feel like it's not going to lead to anything fruitile because. It happened too quickly after another one. Okay, you know what I mean? So that's what it feels like. It, 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 something ended with somebody. And another one began. And that may be the cause of the insecurities. I don't know. There's definitely some insecurities here that are that is that are being revealed. Insecurities are being revealed. Okay, the insecurities are being revealed. Okay, but this opportunity here is still pretty exciting. Okay, it is. Interesting. <coughs> Let me see what is going on here. Let me get this zoomed in. This is just, there's, it doesn't look like it's going to end in upheaval or disaster with the tower reversed. But somebody is fearing it. They're fearing it. So they may be, could they may, you may be dealing with somebody that is a little obsessed with you because they fear abandonment. That's what it looks like to me. Or you fear abandonment. Yeah, somebody fears abandonment. You know, and they've been through a lot of hurt, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody has you know, felt empty inside and they've been through a lot of hurt and there could be a lot of discontent and unhappiness because of the past suffering. Somebody has been going through a lot of grief and suffering here, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. This Four of Cups is like somebody, whoever, whether it's you or the other person, may be insecure when they don't receive attention because this is not receiving attention so you know whether it's you or the other person somebody may feel like they're not getting enough attention and that may be making them feel empty inside okay somebody needs to really liven up the relationship I mean this is livening it they need to liven it up again um, but there's been an awful lot of grief here a lot of suffering Mm. Mental conflict, mental conflict. Somebody is needs to reevaluate what is going on here. What is really happening? What needs to what needs to happen? Somebody needs to step outside of their comfort zone and free themselves from this turmoil. Okay, somebody is is feeling really, really unhappy. With lack of communication, whether it's you or the other person. There's a lack of communication here. There is. And it's causing somebody to feel insecure. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody's feeling insecure because the communication is lacking. It is, and it's causing mental turmoil, whether it's in you or the other person. And it, But it feels as though, I mean, the Fool card is a fresh start. Okay, it's a new beginning. It's starting over. Um, so there could be, a, a, I mean, if you look right here, now these other cups are covered up. And we just have this Ace of Cups up here. It's like there's an opportunity for the Ace of Cups, which is love. There's an opportunity for love here. If somebody could work on insecurities, you know what I mean? Trying to pay attention to the other person's insecurities. I'm not sure what that, I mean, because this is lack of paying attention. You know, she's not, somebody isn't paying attention to the Ace of Cups. You know, they're not paying attention. So if somebody could pay attention to the love that's being offered and really communicate. Here there's lack of communication, which is making somebody feel like 
empty inside and probably withdrawn and obsessed. Okay, somebody's feeling empty and obsessed. But I have to say that there's a lot of, I mean, four, four, four. Fours mean all is well. It's like this is a soulmate connection and all is going to be well if communication will happen and can happen and somebody can see the other person's reality that this is just their insecurities and nurture those insecurities to make that other person feel secure. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay, so foundations, four is about foundations. Four, four, four. There's an opportunity to build a foundation here. Okay? Um, but the thing is, is you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to what needs to happen. Okay? It's hard to explain. It's like there's invisible forces with 444. That's 444 is an angel number. So when I say invisible forces, it's like this is... And with this, this queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles here, you're dealing with a soulmate. And this could have been the king and queen of wands. Okay? And I would have still said it's a soulmate. You know, that's when you have the king and queen of a sign... Of the same sign in a pull, it signifies a soulmate connection to me that needs work. Okay, there's potential here for something stable and secure, a stable and secure, firm foundation. Okay, because again, the tower is reversed. It's like it's not going to break down. It's not going to break down. Okay, but somebody has to put in effort and they have to see this opportunity as it is and they need to really, really communicate and speak truthfully and honestly about their feelings and even step outside of their comfort zone with their feelings instead of, you know, not saying how they feel. They need to really, really communicate. And because there's an opportunity for a fresh new start here with somebody that is probably a soulmate of yours after a period of hurt. Whether you've been through this hurt or they've been through this hurt, somebody has been hurting. And now you are being presented or you are presented with somebody that is very well suited for you. Somebody is better suited for you. You know, a, a suitor that is made for you per se with this page of wands and... You know, now you just have to, to build a foundation. There's ups and downs. There's kinks. There's goods and bads. So there's the bad part of this foundation is, is somebody needs a lot of attention. Okay, right here. Okay, they need a lot of attention and they may feel like they're not getting that attention. So I'm here to just say, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody needs a lot of attention here. And that's part of the foundation, right? So anyway, um... Right now, the angels are around you with the 444s. This is like universally driven, okay? It's an angel. I mean, 444 is an angel number. It's like the angels brought this together. Whoever you, whoever I'm talking about with you, this is, this is like a fresh new start. But the past can't come with you, okay? Very little. Just a, just a very, very little. He starts his new journey with... Nothing. Nothing. He takes that leap of faith. Okay? He, you know, accepts that Ace of Cups, offers that Ace of Cups, leaps into the unknown in hopes of building a strong foundation. Okay? So anyway, from what I see is that you really need to pay attention to the signs at the end of this month. Okay? Pay attention to the signs from this person that you're dealing with. Okay, are they are they seeking attention? Do they need attention? Do you have attention to give? Do they have attention to give to you? Four, four, four. Pay attention to the signs. Fours are also about inner peace and inner wisdom. Okay, um, you're on the right track with whoever you're with. Okay, you're on the right track. Keep going. Keep going. 444. Faith is needed with that Fool card. Somebody needs to take a leap of faith and offer in that Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is love. Okay? It's a raw opportunity for true love. But all foundations, you know, take work. 
fours are, are the foundation number more than anything. Oh, there's that Ace of Cups. See, I knew it. I did. See, I told you it was here because that's where he was pointed up to here. Okay, you do have true love here. You do. It's here. It's here. But somebody is worried about it. Very, very worried about it. And they need to be reassured. That it's not going to die. You're going to have to fight for it. Some, or, or, or stand up for yourself. I mean, whatever's happening here, somebody needs to stand up for... Stand up for it. Fight for it. Don't give up. Somebody may feel cold and detached. This is a, the judgment is the truth coming out. Somebody may feel like, like this isn't true romance. You know, the Knight of Cups, somebody may feel like there's no more, there's no growth here. Nothing's happening with the Knight of Cups or the Seven of Pentacles that, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting what I want here. I'm not getting what I want. And it's causing them some hurt, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody may feel like they're not being heard anyway it feels like you need to fight for something or you need to stand up for something whether it's yourself or the other person and I don't mean fight like physically fight you need to express Judgment is an awakening, a wake-up call. To express the truth, your true feelings, your true love. True love. Or true feelings. True emotional feelings. Somebody may be feeling like they're not loved. But there is love. You know what I mean? There is love. It's causing somebody some depression or something. And I feel like there's a lack of communication here in regards to this love. Ah, jeez, some girl. And I think you have your guard up. You probably have your guard up in regards to this love. You do. You have your guard up. I think that you're probably very guarded about offering this love. And that's what this is. But this person is, is suited very, very well for you. They, they fit you. But there's a, there, it's like, there's love. There's love here, but there's, there's a fear of offering the love. I think you are afraid to offer the love. Of, damn it. I'm, I don't want to make this reading into anything, but somebody is, having their guard up in regards to offering love. I mean, that's all, that's, that's what this is. I mean, that is what this is. But there's truth here, okay? There's truth. There's a, there's, this is an epiphany. There is love. There's love. There is, with these two ace of cups here. There's love. And it's probably true love. But somebody doesn't want to admit it. Whatever. It is what it is, right? Um, hmm. I'm going to get you one of these cards and see what comes up, just for the heck of it. This is for Gemini. Oh, I have to take it. Decisions. Decisions. Honor your top priorities. If it's not an absolute yes, 
then it's a no. That's a great card for you, isn't it? Do you love this person or not? Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what I have, Gemini. <laughs> Talk to you later.